and ring. Oh, okay, left hand out. And slowly chuck a suki. Itch, knee, sam, she, go, look, shitch, hatch, go, jo. Okay, spin pa. Itch, knee, sam, she, go, look, shitch, hatch, go, jo. Hi, young man. Ah, that's good. Okay, feet together, hey scratch. And slowly, my getty. Itch. Ah, knee, sam, she, go, look, shitch, hatch, cure, and jaw. Okay, let's try so to swing high, right? Yeah, itch, knee, sam, she, go, look, shitch, hatch, cure, jaw. Good. Everyone, ready to go? Yep, good. Okay, guys, a few uh, unf fun, unfamiliar faces. Uh, so those who don't know directly and to the right of this, of the camera, here's a big TV. So that's where I'm looking when I talk to you like this. I'm not really looking at the camera. I'm looking at you. Okay, so if you're wondering what I'm doing, I haven't gone mad. That's what I'm looking at. Okay, so, Zekra Satch. Nice relax, guys. Stomach squeeze. Isolate your upper body, nice relax, initiate from that compression of your abdomen, just slowly kicking my getting coming back. Try it. And knee kick. Sam. She. Go. Look. Shit. Hatch. Cool. And jaw. Okay, change leg, guys. Then, uh, Evelina, you're not the only one, but you're like the other one right in front of me. Uh, not in Hamley, go for a Shormanach. So complete hip square, and so really you're just isolating that abdomen compression to produce the kick and come back, rather than at the moment having any rotational sense. Just squeeze, yeah? This like knee up feeling, let your leg fly, and come back. Understand? Okay, so the itch. Knee. Sa. She. Go, Rook, Shit, Hatch, Kyo, Jo. Okay, good. Okay, like we're not going to spend long about this, guys, but just a couple of things. Firstly, I want to isolate just that abdomen compression, and so really we're, we're focusing on, on that compression. Then, then what we don't want to be doing is leaning back as we're trying to kind of compress our abdomen. So that's one thing, yeah? So don't be, don't be kicking and leaning back, even though we're going to step back afterwards, this compression of your abdomen and, and then kind of maintain that form. Second thing, don't initiate from your upper body. So you're not kind of initiating it with the kind of telltale hand movement, then kicking. Even though the kick seems a little bit faster, actually the preparation gives it away, right? Because uh, we're trying to isolate stuff here. Uh, and the third point, like a lot of people, are kind of, some people are a little bit in Shizen, that's not Shoman Dach, nor Hamni Dach, but kind of Shizen natural position, and you're ending up kind of kicking slightly across your body. Like, there's no need for that at the moment. We're just kind of trying to kind of focus on, on just that pure abdomen squeeze. Understand? Yep, yeah. okay, good. Okay, let's try, spin power, right? Okay, okay, nice, uh, yeah, spin power. Okay, it's... Relax in between, yeah? Sun! Chi! Go! No! Chi! Hunch! Kim! One more! Ja! Okay, nice, good. Change leg. Last ten of this basic stuff. Okay, hit! Okay, I say don't lean. Abdom squeeze. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Look. Chit. Hunch. Watch that initiation, upper body initiation, yeah? Come. Last one, last one. Da. Okay, yummy. Ah, relax. Good. Okay, so, guys, so much in karate we spend about kind of trying to develop that kind of twitch, twitch start, yeah, and that's kind of like, I mean, we've only got short lessons, all three of us today, but like in my class, that's what we're going to kind of work on, that kind of twitch start, 
or like trying to kind of initiate our movement quickly. Then like with this basic Maigeri, you know, like I've used this example before, but like when you're a kid, you actually have to learn how to snap your fingers to, to kind of snap your fingers, yeah? You, like you see kids, little kids, trying to get it right until they get those neurological pathways set down and then they can fire that, 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 uh, that fine motor control, yeah? But we're trying to do that with other parts that are far more difficult to control. So like, you know, trying to kind of twitch from your core is quite difficult. Trying to twitch from your lats, trying to twitch from your inner thigh muscles, or from your pecs, or from your rhomboids. Like this whole host of kind of muscle parts that we're trying to twitch in order to produce an explosive start. If we get the, from the rest point to the preparation point correct, the rest will take care of itself. We spend so much time often kind of going from a preparation point and focusing on the execution. So prepare and then execute, like to use Satuke. But actually so much more important is maybe just the preparation. Get the preparation right and then everything else kind of takes care of itself. Understand? So that's the, the very small little element we're going to practice in my very small little class today. Okay? Okay, so from here guys, make six, touch again. Okay, this time make hand knee. Then all we should do is think about inner thigh muscles, right leg to left, right knee to left hand. Right knee to left hand and back. So you're kind of in hand knee. So you don't, don't worry about showing anymore, just, just, you're just bringing your knee across your body and back. Okay, try it. Knee, San, Shi, and Go, Look, Chich, Hatch, Kum, Jo. Switch stance, guys. Okay, so your left leg, sorry, left knee to right hand. Okay, it, Knee, San, Shi. Go, look, shitch, hatch, kum, jo. Okay, so for Simon Sensei's sake, I'll tell you exactly what we're doing now because he's just been watering his dog. Um, so, so guys, always this a couple of minutes, yeah? Just did that inner thigh muscle compression. So of course, of course your abdomen is you, you being used. Of course, like nothing, no movement is, is not a holistic movement. Every movement you do, you're using all your body, right? But for now, you're using all your body, but you're focusing on a very specific group, which is that, just that inner thigh muscle squeeze. Try to initiate that squeeze from your inner thigh muscle so you're kind of producing a fast start. Of course, you can use your abdomen, of course. But for now, I want you to kind of start in hamni, so kind of, so if you're showing, like you're really just using your abdomen from here, hamni, you can side on. Just feel like you're bringing your knee across your body, that feeling. That feeling, and then try to have that twitch, twitch, and then relax, twitch, and then relax. Understand? Okay, guys, give it a go. Maybe ten on one side, ten on the other. If you have any questions, please ask. Starting from hammy, guys, hips back, and try to maintain hammy position right the way through. Don't allow your hips to roll forward. Desmond Danes, it looks like you've been promoted to fourth queue. Congratulations. Or well, maybe that's a re not a recent thing, is it? I don't know. Then, okay, guys, I'm just seeing Linda do this. Like, but I think quite a few of you are doing it. Oh, hang on, let me see myself so I can see that I'm doing it badly. Um, okay, oops. Uh, try, try to get, oh, hang on, sorry. Uh, try to get, try to get, kind of, even though you're in Hamney, don't just kind of, get your knee to come out, like like Mawashi Gary feeling. Because then you're kind of maybe concentrating on your obliques. Okay, so like that's kind of a bleak twitch, yeah? A bleak twitch to kind of produce that Mawashi Gary feeling, yeah? No, inner thigh muscles, straight forward. So your knee is coming kind of forward, almost like across your body, just to isolate that inner thigh muscle squeeze. Understand? Yeah, okay, one more minute, guys. Give it a go. Any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, that's it. Sensei Paul, Sensei Uren. Twitch, guys, once you get it, once you get that pattern, twitch, twitch, twitch. Try to relax your upper body as well. Don't, don't allow your upper body to be affected. I mean, it is a little bit, but uh, limit that, yeah?
Yeah, good guys, good, good, good. Okay, perfection has been reached, excellent. Okay, let's try to use that twitch of the inner thigh muscle as part of the initiation of my Geddy. So, a little bit kind of, a little bit kind of uh, opposite to what I'd normally teach, but I want you to kind of, maintaining hamni, maybe maintaining your Kamai as well, that'll probably help, and just kicking across and then coming back. So you're kicking kind of a, across your body as your leg flies, you'll get a little bit of rotation. But what I really want you to do is try to get that knee to knee, knee to knee feeling as quick as possible, and then let the mic really fly and come back. You understand? So it's the initiation of the inner thigh, squeeze, and then come back. Okay, try that guys. 30 seconds, one minute, both legs. Any questions, just ask. Try and keep your back straight, guys. Maintain your Kamai, yeah? Maintain your Kamai. Just kick through your guard. Then, uh, John Sensei, John Richardson says, hey, relax your shoulders, you look a little bit tense. You need a little bit of a massage, John. You're a little bit kind of up there, yeah? Bring it down, bring it down, relax. Sorry, Sensei. Yes, Leo? You're starting to you, right? Yeah. Uh, when, when you hit, you are in Well, allow, don't, don't think so much, don't think so much rotating to showman. Like, think that as your leg starts to fly, it'll probably bring your body to showman, but not kind of one, two feeling. Uh, you, you can focus on that, but today, I just want you to have that initiation from your inner thigh muscles. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys, just one more minute, guys. Like a few of you are doing it, like Evelina, you're doing it a little bit. Chrissy, you're doing it a little bit. There's a little bit of a counter rotation. You're almost like fighting your own body. Uh, like those two aren't the only ones that are doing it. But, but like, try not to kind of fall into the Maigo. So as your leg comes up, like try not to kind of fall in and like almost fight against the flying of the leg. Like you're kicking through your guard, but it takes quite a lot of kind of control, core control, to maintain your guard as you kick through. If you don't, you kind of fall back into the into the, the, your back leg that you've just lifted. So may, try to maintain form a little bit. Understand? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, let's try spin part. Okay, you are, you come on. So, nice, relaxed, she's in, have me feeling. Okay, maintain, come on, kick back. Okay, it's deep. One more, one more, two. Okay, I presume you're all key eye. Chase leg. Okay, left leg kicking. Again, maintain your form as you kick. Don't fall back into it. Okay, it's D. Ten. Two. Go. More hamley vins. Look. Chit. Hatch. Come. Two. I am I relax. So, Guys, this, you know, okay, just watch. So like this, you know, we practice, we practice especially my, well, not especially my Gary, we practice my Gary and most other techniques in a set format. We, we, we practice them in the, the archetype of, of what we think my Gary is the optimal range, yeah? So, so we have a target uh, and then, you know, we're kicking, kind of showing that and we're kind of kicking at that distance and, and we get used to kind of firing it in at that distance and that becomes the mantra of my game, yeah? Come on, my game, that's it. But that's just, that's just like that kind of perfect, uh, kind of stereotypical distance, which of course, well, arguably never exists, right? We should be able to, we should be able to kind of, of course, we, we sometimes practice a little bit longer, so like that kind of yo yo my game, sometimes practice that, but also this sense of kind of coming closer, like foot to foot, kind of closer, hand on shoulder, closer feeling, even kicking in hammy, hammy feeling, yeah? This kind of kicking in feeling. It's still kind of my game. And you, and you should be able to have that spectrum of possibility within your technique. Not always, oh my game is showman dash, full extension. Like, you're just kind of setting yourself up for a fail because that perfect kind of timing and distance will never exist in reality. Understand? Yep, and then my point being, sometimes, in order to initiate, we're not gonna use the abdomen squeeze, 
maybe that inner thigh muscle compression to initiate the technique. Okay? Okay, 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 next guys, next. So, okay, from here, just feel like your ball of your foot is bouncing off the ground. Okay, try to get this, this feeling, yeah? Try both legs, bong, dong, bong. Okay, let me see you prance. Let me see you prance. Make, make that light, make that leg really super light. Really super light, yeah? Good. Okay, you can get a little bit hoppy if you want, and you can start, if you want, you can start to move and kind of, you know, go across the dojo, but just kind of have that plyometric bounce, yeah? If you can, also, isolate your Kamai. Isolate your Kamai. So whatever happening, it's not affecting the rest of your body, yeah? Good. Matt Sensei, you're very good at prancing. Very good, Matt, Matthew Payne Sensei. <laughs> okay, okay, good, enough, enough. Uh, okay, good, excellent. So, um, what I want you to think about is for two things, three things. First thing is your arch of your foot. All right, like I talk a lot about that. I, I certainly have talked a lot about this during lockdown because it's, it's one of the things that we can really practice in a kind of producing explosive movement in like a, you know, a meter square or the, like training in your kitchen, bathroom, wherever you're training. Um, so, so like that explosive element that is created by the arch of the foot and really trying to make sure that your arch is alive and healthy, yeah? That your foot is a bundle of muscle. We often think of our feet as just bone. But those bones are very small and very thin and there's loads of them. So it's surrounded by muscle. And we've got to really work out that muscle to make it strong, yeah? And the, the stronger our arch, like any arch, is going to create that spring effect, yeah? And we want to think about it that way, okay? Also, hamstring, hamstring strength. So using kind of your hamstrings to create that elastic power. And the connecting bit, that Achilles heel, okay, making that strong as well. Like, like... It, you know, like one of the, I think it was 1984, there was this kind of unknown kind of uh, high jumper from Sweden, maybe. Where was it from? I can't remember. Uh, who Sweden. was... Yeah, was it Sweden? Yeah. Of course it was Sweden, Bjorn. Uh, and, he, and, he, and he was unknown and he kind of went and broke all the world records. But they studied him and he had the thickest Achilles heel they'd ever studied, blah, blah, blah. And it, you have a lot of elastic power there, yeah? So I want you to feel like when you're doing this, that you're kind of stretching your arch of your foot. You're stretching your, your hamstring and that connector of your Achilles heel which takes the pressure and that stretch is going to rebound. Stretch to rebound. Stretch to rebound. You understand? In this kind of plyometric sense. You're stretching and then you're shamming it shut. You're stretching your, that from your big toe right the way to your top of your ass, and then bomb slamming it shut to create this explosive bending of the knee. You understand? Okay, with that in mind, prance about again. Oh, nice Paul Sensei, Paul Oren. And Paul Doherty Sensei, nice. Then Gerard, it's not your back foot that's doing it, it's your front foot, yeah? Weight on your front foot. Weight on your front foot, yeah? Don't, don't, don't have much, so much weight on your back leg. Okay. Good. Good! Understand? Yeah. Okay, so, so guys, same thing, let's just try this simple exercise. So I want, I want you to kick my giddy back, my giddy forward. And then you can reset, yeah? This one, two feeling, yeah? Change leg, kick back, forward kick. Change leg, kick step back, kick step forward. Okay, do that guys, couple of minutes. A uh, couple of times, not a couple of minutes. So kick, step back, kick, step forward. Stepping forward is important, yeah? Okay, okay, yeah, mate, good. Everybody's got the, the sense of what we're talking about, yeah? Okay, so, what I want you to do, you're not focusing on the first kick, you're not focusing on the second kick, you're focusing on the bit between. The initiation of the second kick, the kick, the end of the first kick, the start of the second kick. That's what I really want you to focus on. So, make the first kick light. 
Make the first stick light, and it's just coming back. So in light kicking, not really moving your upper body. You're not really kind of, certainly not leaning back, not going forward so much. Quite a light kick, then you put your, your body mass, your weight on that ball of your foot. Feel it stretch your, your Achilles heel through your hamstring and use that stretch to produce the, the elastic power for the second kick. So you're relaxing, then driving forward. This relaxing, driving forward. Understand? Okay, give it a go, guys. Any questions, just ask. Chrissy, watch your upper body. Don't, don't be rotating your upper body at the same time, yeah? Isolate. You too, Rolf, yeah? A little bit counter-rotation on the kick. Try to maintain that form. Then, uh, I don't know if it's hussy or pops, when you're kicking, you're a little bit kind of rotating into the back of that kick, yeah? Try to maintain conform so you're kicking through that guard, yeah? Person on the, person on the left that was doing that. Me looking at them. Then, Harry, Harry, you're a little bit rotating on the first, so not rotating, leaning. A little bit leaning on the first kick, which inevitably puts you that way on the, after you've said, and then you're not going to get that bounce. Try to stay upright so you can really load your weight on that back leg, which is going to fire it forward again, yeah? Try not to do this so much. Yeah, good. Yeah, John, John Gardner. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit that, yeah? You're young and fit and athletic, so you should be able to pop those kicks out without that kind of movement, yeah? Try to micromanage your upper body a little bit. Dente, just a quick question. Do you land on the ball of your foot? Or yeah. Foot your foot? Okay, Yame, Bernard had asked a good question. <laughs> There's always a first time for anything. Okay, uh, yeah, guys, just feel, after the first kick, all you're doing is, is landing on the ball of your foot. Feel like, I'll try to, uh, feel like, I don't know if you can see so much there, but like feel like I'm landing, that foot's coming back, and then almost at the point where my heel touches the ground, it fires, it fires off again, yeah? So you're trying to get that timing. You're trying to go to the most elastic part of that whole big toe to the top of your backside, stretch of your arch, Achilles heel, ten, uh, uh, yeah, tendon, uh, and, and stretch that and then fire it off. If your foot lands and you're flat footed, you maybe lose that, um, that kind of plyometric bounce. Understand? Good. Okay. Last 30 seconds, then we're gonna move on. We'll run out of time. We'll run out of time. Okay, okay, good. Okay, let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Let's try, let's try this time, Ju Kamai, yeah? Ju Kamai, front leg, Mawashigiri, yeah? So again, fairly short stance, maybe, just to make it easy. Front leg, Mawashigiri, long Mawashigiri. So, this one, down, two, down. So, you're, again, weight, this time a little bit different, but weight is going forward, forward. Forward, forward, feeling. Keep control of your Kamai. Foot down, foot up, feeling. Understand? It's basically the same thing, albeit from a different angle. Go for it, guys, try. Yeah, Peter, keep control of that elbow sticking out on the second Morshigeri. Morshigeri is nice, but we're having this kind of flappiness. Yeah, just kind of keep, keep that lat locked in a little bit. Then Peter Le Jungman, try not to take a half step. No half step, yeah? No half step. You're from here, you're kicking foot down, kicking direct. And so it's the bounce of the front leg that is producing the second movement, not a half step with your back leg. Okay? Sorry, that was Peter, there's three Peters. There's three Peters, it was the red belt Peter, not you Peter, with the t-shirt. <laughs> I 
Okay, good. Reach perfection. Yes, excellent. Okay, guys. Okay, let's try the same thing. I'm trying to do is switch it up a little bit. We're like we're ultimately pressing the middle part between the two kicks. Yeah, not the first kick, not the second kick, but the middle part. So this time I want you to go from course touch. Course touch. We're going to do yoke yeti, but this time instead of coming back down to your uh, course touch, just a little bit forward. This one forward, two forward. For you. So it's like a little bit different, but starting start from a different position. Yeah. So kiyagi foot down, long kiyagi. So. Kiyagi, foot down, long kiyagi. Okay, understand? Here we go, guys. Try it. Last time, we'll, we'll, then we'll move on. Then Carol, Carolyn, you, you're a little bit, it's got to, you, you've only got milliseconds to make this work, yeah? I can see you're trying to, trying to do it slowly, and like normally I'd say, slow it down, get it right, but with this, it doesn't really work if you do it slowly, I'm afraid. Try to bounce, try to bounce that back, that front leg off, yeah? Then Matthew, last, back, back up, head up, shoulders down, don't be crouching over, yeah? Okay, I want to try to apply it to some actual karate rather than just prancing about, yeah? But guys, do you, do you get the feeling? Do you understand? Oops. Any questions? Everybody's good? Okay. Okay, so let's try this, yeah? Very basic, yeah? Um, all we should do is well, we'll just do this kind of, uh, kind of back to what, what we were doing right at the beginning, right? Which was, which was this kind of inner thigh muscle squeeze, kicking through your guard, Oops. kicking through your guard. Sorry, I've suddenly got a really slippy floor. Sorry, my I'm getting a technical function dysfunction. My floor is slipping. Okay, so like I was trying to say, um, so like remember the first one we were initiating with that inner thigh muscle kicking in hand, knee coming back, then driving forward. So just try, try that kind of like cutting across your guard, oops, cutting across your guard, then completely driving in. Yeah. Understand? Okay, again, it's that middle space. Okay, let's try. Slowly first. Okay, inch. Switch stance. Knee. Switch stance. Sam. Switch stance. One more. She. Try to keep control of your Akamai, yeah? Don't be counter rotating. Kick through your guard. Through your guard, then directly. There you go. Okay, let's try some power. Inch. One, two, and seven. And shin. And go. And look. Relax your shoulders, guy. Guys. Shin. And one more, one more. Ha! Ah, yeah, good, good. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys, same feeling. Same feeling. We're going to kick my very kick through your guard as your foot lands, translated to Kazamazuki. So, kicking back, driving in. So, the, the, the hikiash is the start of the Kazamazuki. No dead time. Understand? Close. Yep, okay, let's try. So, okay, itch. Hand change. Knee. Asan! Shi! One more. Go! Okay, okay. Guys, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds just to work with that, yeah? 30 seconds, if you've got any questions, just try. But really try to kind of look at how much your upper body is reacting when you let that fly get fly. Try to minimize that, yeah? Okay, off you go, guys. 30 seconds, if you've got any questions, ask. Bernard, you're leaning a little, little bit back on that Maigiri. Andy, Bailey, relax your shoulders a little bit. Linda, you're kind of breaking your centre line, you're kind of, kind of doing this as you're, as you're kicking, yeah? Keep that centre line straight. 
Paul D, you, Paul Doherty, you leaning a little bit back by the looks of it when you're kicking. <laughs> Gary, Gary Johnson, yeah, he's out as if you. But I just looked at you when you when you made a mistake. That's always the way. Warwick Gray, yeah, nice. Helgi, nice. Ah, uh, David du uh, Dungan, a little bit higher kick, yeah. Okay, let's try spin power. Let's try, yeah. Okay, so nice and relaxed. Keep that micro control of your upper body. Don't forget that inner thigh muscle compression is the start. So you're initiating the first technique, inner thigh muscle, inner thigh muscle, then this kind of plyometric bounce, yeah? Okay, let's try some high, you wait. Okay, hit. And in. Uh, Go! Shit! Last one! Ha! Hey! Hey, yummy! How you saying there? Very good. Good! Can you feel it? Can you feel that ping? And I hope it's the ping of your explosive movement rather than your hamstring going. Yeah? Feel it? Good? Yeah? Okay, good. Okay. Maybe, maybe last one, last one. Okay, so, guys, next one, key, we've done this before, which is like using different elements, yeah? So, next one, Kizamazuki, yeah? Kizamazuki, one more wash, back, yeah? So we're going in, Kizamazuki, in, Kizamazuki, one more wash, and down. In, Kizamazuki, one more wash. Understand? Oops. Give that a go, guys, try. One more wash, yeah? Not more wash, one more wash. Then Evelina, in afterwards, yeah? In, in with the kick, or maybe you, you run out of space, but feel like you go stepping forward after the kick. Then Alex, no stepping, explosion. This explosion, then in the thigh muscle squeeze, yeah? You don't have to kick high, guys. Just focus on the elements that we're working on today. Okay, guys, just watch, just watch. So, look. This and it, like, if I slow this down, you're making Kizamazuki, and then really, arg well, like, arguably before you hit this point, it's then that inner thigh muscle squeeze, squeeze that, that you're trying to kind of initiate the, the kick from. Not a step, but like from that driving in, you're opening your thighs, you're driving and then squeezing, and it's that squeeze that is initiating the technique. And then also, not only, the squeeze of your inner thigh muscle, but the bounce of this front leg. So what we're trying to do with this combination is combine both elements, the inner thigh muscle twitch and the plyometric bounce to get that leg up to do uramo wash. So uh, it's very difficult, so training like this is very difficult because you've got to do it at speed. If you don't do it at speed, it's very difficult to get that plyometric bounce. But at the same time, by doing it speed, it's really difficult to coordinate. So you just have to bear, bear with me, but, but like open, Open in a thigh muscle squeeze. Once you get that in a thigh muscle squeeze, get that bounce. Once you get that bounce, come on, let the, let the other wash fly, yeah? Okay, one more minute, guys, give it a go. Then Chuck, bring your Kamai straight back. After the, after the Kazamazuki, get that Kamai back and you're in control, yeah? Don't, don't let lose control of your upper body. Remember guys, you don't have to kick high, you just have to kick well. No need to kick high, yeah? Okay, Ame! Good, good. Okay, we're gonna finish off by doing this a couple of times, speed and power. But one thing I would say though, before we do that, is that, like, you know, I trained quite a bit with Asai Sensei uh, back in the day, and you know, he was, like when I, when I was training with him a lot, he was like 60s, kind of early 70s, and you know he, he was exceptionally flexible, but, but like this kind of Orama wash flexibility kicking Jordan, not really. But his Orama wash was deadly. Like he'd get really close to you, and he'd kind of wrap his leg around, and and he, the heel would be back into your spine, or the heel into your kidneys, and stuff like that. 
So it was, it was a very effective Chudan Uramawashi Geri. And so please don't think that you had to do that flamboyant kind of showy off competition-esque Uramawashi Geri. You know, think about the practical application of this and I guarantee a Chudan Uramawash to the kidneys well, I've had it from a size sensei. It's really, really, really hard, yeah? So, so don't be kind of kicking high badly, kick low well. Understand? And sometimes, no point me saying that, sometimes you've got to give yourself the permission to do it. Not, uh, Evelina, don't you give me a thumbs up. You're young, so you should be kicking Jordan, of course. Anybody who's young, who's older than Evelina, yeah? Okay, let's try it, guys. Spin power. Okay, so one count, one count. This is Kazamazuki Uramawash change stats. Okay, try it! Okay, Seven! Chin! Go! Look! Chin! Hunch! Last one, last one, done! Ah, yummy, hi Sunday. Good. Okay, I relax. So guys, that's my time. Yes, perfect timing. Um, so, a couple of things I would say. Firstly, like what I really wanted to do today, like we only have short time, so it's just kind of a, a one or two points kind of uh, drilled, is initiating your technique. Like sometimes initiating your technique from that twitch of your inner thigh muscles, is really effective, okay? So, so whether you're stepping, stepping through, kicking, whatever you're doing, that inner thigh muscle compression can sometimes be really effective um, in the whole arsenal of what it happens when you initiate a technique. Uh, second point is, is sometimes the landing of, of the first technique should be, can be, generally speaking, will always be the initiation of the next technique. The end of the first technique should be the initiation of the technique, next technique, and you, you have that plyometric explosive movement. Uh, so one technique leads to the next technique leads to the next technique, rather than stop, start, stop, start karate. Understand? Okay. Okay. And uh, what was my last point? There was three points. Can't remember. Must have been a lie. Okay. Just those two points, guys. So, so uh, like whatever you do, whatever you do, it's always holistic body movement. Yeah. You can't move. You can't move your little, your big toe without your little finger having, having some sort of connection, yeah? Because you're just connected. But by isolating these, these elements, then we can add to our overall body movement. Okay? Oops. Good. Okay. Uh, dare I say any questions? Nobody has questions. Nobody ever has questions. Uh, you'll have loads of questions for JD Sensei, and you'll have loads of questions for Peter Constantine Sensei. <laughs> right. that's, that's... Matthew! You said earlier on, uh, sometimes you don't um, squeeze the stomach, um, and you just twitch off the inner thighs. I've always thought you would do both in all circumstances. So, so um, it, it, it depends. Like it depends on on your range. Um, so, um, yeah, generally speaking, generally speaking, yes, generally speaking, you this twitch of your inner thigh muscle in conjunction with the compression of your abdomen, in conjunction with a whole host of other things, will initiate a technique. But what I was trying to emphasize is that sometimes one will be more dominant than the other. And oh, that sure. depends on, on, and so I'm trying to kind of, like the problem about karate is that we kind of break it up into bits, focus on this bit, focus on that bit, uh, whenever, when always it's a holistic movement and, it, and we shouldn't really do it that way. But that's the only way that we can really conceptualize it well. Okay. I only just worked out that, you, that the two things are different. So now dominating one or the other, that's, that's <laughs> okay. No, thank you. Cool. Oh, Anything else, guys? Yeah, Chuck. That's it. Uh, quick question. On the mind gate from the rear leg going into a Kitsamitsuki, um, when the, when the um, mind gate comes back, if I didn't push, put it down hard, when I tried to launch into the Kitsamitsuki, I'd end up doing a split. Yeah. Is it somewhere in the middle that I'm supposed to be doing, or do I let it hit hard before bouncing off to to do the kids' arms, you get felt like you wanted it to be light, but well, I, if I did light, I fell flat on my face. So I think. Um the the stronger your foot is, the stronger your your Achilles uh, heel and the stronger your hamstrings are, the more force it can take. I mean, like this this type of training, if you put too much force in it, you can you can end up pinging your you know like pulling your hamstring, right? So it's always a balancing act. 
And so certainly at first, when you're just kind of warming up those hamstrings, you want to be light, you don't want to put too much pressure onto it. But the faster, the stronger it becomes, and the, the more able it is to take that kind of pressure, the more you want to slam your foot down to produce that kind of uh, opposite action. So the more, you more you want to slam that foot down to produce that explosive power, yeah? So, um, so that's, that's what I'm kind of looking for, but step by step. You don't want to be doing this and have, uh, well, you, don't, you wouldn't do this if you had a, um, a hamstring injury, but you certainly want to, don't want to do it if you've got weak hamstrings. You want to build up this strength. But, but like, like we do with all our body parts in karate, we're constantly building up strength, increasing range, increasing fitness, etc. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to call it. Uh, I'll be here at the end. You can always ask me questions then if you need me. Okay, feet together. Ready? Whoa.